Welcome back to Goosercraft, everybody. Get ready for episode five. We are going to do some fun stuff today. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to get our proper mind set up. We are going to maybe get a little bit better of armor. I want to build a hammer in order to take to the mine. That will give us some better uh, mining space for walking and paths and things like that. And I guess we'll start there and see what else we can possibly get done. I definitely would like to get some sort of storage system in the near future so we don't have to have all these chests down here like this and kind of not know where anything's at. So without further ado, let us get right into it. So the first thing I guess I'm going to do is try and go down in our mine down in this area and you know eventually I'm gonna put in some stairs here as well and things like that just so we're not a uh, kind of all discombobulated around here because I like things to look nice and function well at the same time so let me go ahead and get some stairs some proper stairs built and uh, dig down a little bit to the mine and I will show you kinda what the benefits are that we find all the little ores and stuff like that I will save them and you know what I'll do actually? I will go grab one of these Hermitrons and I'll put all the stuff that we get from mining in one of these Hermitrons. Oh, we still have some stuff in here actually. All right, so now that Hermitron's empty. So we'll take the blue Hermitron and everything that I get in mining, I'll put into this blue Hermitron and we will uh, see everything that we get when I get back. So let me take care of all that guys and I'll catch up with you in a few minutes. All right. All right, silly goosers, we are back. We went ahead and got our mine started, and I got our little Hermitron here filled with all of the stuff that I got. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll set it down, and if you look, I got nine copper, 15 gold, six diamonds, a stack, and 12 of Inferium Essence, which we can use to make magical crops, uh, half a stack of coal, some prosperity shards which you use for magical crops as well uh, 36 iron ore, a piece of silver, 3 lead, 18 tin, a couple loot bags some ender dust which you could make um, ender pearls with and two loot bags which we'll go ahead and open those up first so let's see what we got four pieces of paper woohoo iron chest plate, golden apple, beetroots okay okay that's not too bad so we'll throw our chest plate up in there. We'll put our golden apple up in here too because that's pretty good. Uh, paper and beet roots, we already have all that stuff. So pretty good haul, right? Um, let me go ahead and show you guys the mine that we got started. So here we go, I put in some stairs going down. And I made some more stairs here that go all the way down, not all the way to bedrock. But when I got down to here, I hit a cave over here to the left. So right now we're on level 28. So I hit a cave over here. I put in a couple of double doors and some more stairs. And I kind of cleaned this area up a little bit over here. And some more stairs. And this is where I stopped, right where this last torch is. So we still have all of this caving down here to explore. Right, it's pretty dark. I'm not going to go into that right now. We'll go ahead and grab this lapis while we're here and also this ye the yellow right just because we're here. Uh, I don't have any blocks to really replace that stuff with, so that's kind of why I headed back. We'll do all that later. But definitely a good start to our first mine, I think. Looks kind of nice, kind of cleaned up. You know, it's nothing special, but it's uh, it's a good start. Okay. So we can go ahead and throw the lapis and the yellow right in there as well. So I guess what we're going to do, we finally have some gold so we can make some casts that will last forever. And I'll grab that chest and we'll go ahead and put this chest down right there. And we will throw a oh, piece of diamond spawned. That's one cool thing about this making our stuff out of Mirian. With the Mirian, if you look, it tells you the properties right under the XP level there. So it says mana uh, and mirable visu. 
And basically what Mirable Visu does is, while you're using these items, and you're around regular stone, there's a chance that it could turn the stone into diamond or gold. Right? So that's definitely pretty sweet. Um, in this case, it turned it to diamond. I need to have a little bit of cobblestone on me here. Alright, better. So we got a free diamond, pretty much. Pretty neat. So let's go ahead and... Oh boy. Oh boy. We are full on... <laughs> We are full on our smeltery. Um, let's go ahead and throw in six gold to start. We are also starting to run low on lava. Um, remember we have that lava lake that we found earlier in the game. I could go over there and fill up on some lava and bring it back. So, hmm. I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make a, a drum. So let's see here. The basic drum is stone, stone drum. So it takes six cobblestone, two slabs, and a wooden bowl. So let's see if we have any of that stuff. I know we have the cobblestone. Uh, do we have any slabs? I think we might have used up all of our slabs. Did we? Did we? Did we? Yep, I believe so. Okay. So let's go ahead and make one set of slabs. Ba bow, just like that. And, wait, do we have wooden planks? We only have two. That's not going to be enough. And we don't have any bowls, right? No, okay. So let's go ahead and make one set of wooden slabs. And we'll take these and go like this. And that will give us four bowls, right? So one bowl in the center. Two slabs on either side, up and down. And cobblestone down the sides. And there is our stone drum. Pretty neat, right? Now usually I make one of these for the fluid cows as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make four, since we have four fluid cows, I'm going to make four more stone drums. Okay, so that should be pretty easy. I uh, just need to make another set of cobblestone slabs. We'll go one, two, three, four, just like that. And let's see, we'll do four and four there. And let's see, four, four, six. Uh, dang it, we're going to run out of cobblestone. All right, let's throw this back in here, like so, and boom. All right, so four stone drums. There we go. So now we have five total. Very nice. All right, so let's throw some of this junk back in there, like so. We'll throw our diamond back there. Now we have five stone drums, OK? I'll we'll throw our gold back just in case. So, what I'm going to do, if you remember, our little lava lake is way over here. Way over here. I have it marked. I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to... I think these stone drums hold 16 buckets worth. So I'll go ahead over there to, there, the, uh, to the lava, and I will put 16 buckets worth of lava into our drum. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. So see you in a second, guys. All right, silly goosers, we are back. I have one full barrel of lava, and I have these other barrels over here. So if you don't remember, we can store liquids in these barrels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shovel out a little piece of the wall. Oh my, we're breaking through. That ain't good. Uh... That'll be okay, I guess. Let me go ahead and stick a barrel there. And we'll stick one behind each of these cows. Man, we're breaking out. We're breaking out. I don't like it. We'll have to fix that because that's going to look weird. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four barrels, right? Now, what we can do with these is we'll take our bucket, milk our cow, and boink, throw it in there. Milk this cow, boink, throw it in there. Milk this cow, boink, milk this cow, boink. So now when we right click on the barrel with something, it'll show us, see there in the bottom left, drum, fluid, Mirian, 1,000 out of 16,000. And 1,000 equals one bucket. So we have one bucket out of possible 16 buckets worth in there. And now if I right click the barrel with a bucket, see, it'll take it out. So now, if I right-click it, it says drum empty, right? So I can put that back in there. 
So I, that's a good way to fill up on the cows without putting everything directly back into the smeltery. Okay, so let's go ahead down here. We'll put our lava bucket down over here where the lava is. We'll take one bucket and throw it in there. We'll take another bucket, boom, throw it in there. So now, if we look, we have um, two buckets plus 300 millibuckets. So two and a third buckets worth of lava in there. And you can see here, here's our gold that we just put in. We've got one block plus three ingots, so that's 12 blocks altogether. That should be enough to make some basic molds. So the first mold we need to make, oh look, a piece of uh, stone turned to gold from the Miravisu. Yeah, baby. We'll just throw dirt back down since that's all we have. Okay, now what I wanted to make is a hammer. So... Let's go ahead, oh, I did have some cobblestone. Let's go ahead to our stencil table. We still have some blank stencils in there, and we'll go, ah, ah, there was something I forgot. I'm gonna have to do, okay. Here's the hammerhead pattern, so we'll take that and we'll throw that in there. Now, if we look at our tool station, you look over here at these tools, right? You're like, wow, there's no hammer. Why is that? Well, we have to turn our tool station into a tool forge. So you see these are forges. And the way you do that is you take your tool station plus three seared bricks that we use to make the smeltery with and four blocks of a metal. So iron, uh, gold, nickel, merion. You know we could use a whole host of different things. So we'll probably use whatever we have the most of and whatever's cheapest. Um, which I guess... Um, hmm, that's a tough choice, tough choice. Can we make one out of obsidian? Can we make one out of obsidian? I don't think so because it's not technically a metal. Uh, tool forge. Let's see if we can do that. I wonder if it'll look up iron forge. Yeah, okay. Pig iron, conductive iron, pulsating iron. Okay, so let's see. Obsidian forge. No, no, can't do that. All right, so I guess we will go with hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe. See, I don't want to use this stuff because it's really good, but we have a ton of it. No, maybe we'll just throw a bunch of this copper in there. Or well, we have a lot of iron. We have we have thirty six blocks of iron. And we've already got a little bit of iron in there, so let's take half of these and throw them in there. Okay, so actually, while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and get all of this other stuff out of the smeltery because it's starting to fill up, and there is a limit. So if you can see, I think this stuff stops melting because there's no more room in here. So I'm going to go ahead and drain everything but the gold and the iron out of the smeltery. I will have to make an ingot, and I don't think I have any. Okay, yeah, I have one copper ingot. So let's take this copper ingot. I'll show you how we're going to do this. So take the copper ingot, put it down on there. We got our gold set at the bottom, and we'll pour that out over top. Now this is going to make us an ingot cast, right? So now we can pour ingots out of, so you can see there's no space, not enough free space in smeltery. So we can go ahead and like this liquid dirt, we have three ingots worth. So we can pour it in here, and that's going to make the ingots and take it out of the smeltery. And we can, I already showed you earlier how we can do that with blocks. So we're going to go ahead and do that and get all of that stuff out of the smeltery. And we're probably going to need a nugget one as well. I don't think we could use these coal nuggets. I mean, we can try. Ooh cooked mutton. How about that? We'll throw that in our backpack. So let me see if I can use, whoops, I grabbed two of them, this to make a, nah, nah, see that didn't work. So we'll throw these cold nuggets back into the furnace. What I'm gonna have to do, hey look, a berry. Yum, 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 yum. What I'm gonna have to do is make some nuggets. So if I take an ingot and put it into the crafting table, it'll give us nine nuggets per ingot. So if I put that down, then I can pour the cast over that. 
So let me go ahead and get this smeltery emptied out except for the iron and the gold. And I'll be right back with you guys in a few minutes. All right, so see you in a few. All right, silly McGoosers, welcome back. We've got our final two blocks of iron pouring out. That'll give us our four blocks of iron so we can turn the tool station into a tool forge. And as you can see, I put this pink hermitron here. We'll keep all the stuff from our smeltery in there. So we've made a bunch of ingots and nuggets and blocks out of all of the stuff that we had in the smeltery, mostly from the fluid cows. And we now have these two uh, casts. So we have an ingot cast and a nugget cast, and we'll keep all our casts in this little chest here. And you can see I made another casting bin so we can pour multiple blocks at a time. Okay, so we also need our three seared bricks, which we have right here, our four blocks of iron, and then also our tool station. So we'll grab that and we'll go ahead into our crafting table and it's three seared blocks, metal, blocks on the sides, and your tool station in the middle and that gives you a tool forge. Right? So we put that down and now look we have a lot more things that we can make here. So we have the hammer, an excavator, a lumber axe, a sickle, well a scythe I guess it's called technically a cleaver, we have the beloved crossbow with bolts and arrows and shurikens and there's even a rapier and a long sword. I think all that was there before. There's the katana. So that is pretty neato. So let's go ahead back into our part builder. We already made our um, hammer head. So that's going to take eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of stone, and that gives us our stone hammer head, right? Now we're also gonna wanna make another tool rod pattern because we're going to make a permanent one out of gold. And let's just go ahead and check back and see what else we need here. So we need these two large plates as well. So let's go back to our stencil table, make the large plate pattern, and throw it in our pattern chest and go back to our part builder, right? And that's going to take eight pieces as well, just like that, right? Now, since we're going to make this out of, hey, look, another gold block. Yeah, baby, another gold block. Throw it in there. OK, and replace with cobblestone. See, I also replaced it, the cobblestone behind the uh, part that was showing through on these blocks here, so we got that in order. So I'm going to take a bucket of Mirian. Um, these guys I'm going to also milk and throw them in their respective drums, just because I'm already up here. Now since we're going to make it out of Mirian, we need to get some more Mirian in there. So I'll grab another bucket that we had stored in our little drum there, and I'll throw these two buckets of Mirian into our smeltery right so we have a little bit of iron left in there and we have eight ingots worth of gold and now we have one block plus four ingots plus eight nuggets of miriam just from those two buckets that we just threw in there right so we need to go to gold first because we're going to make our cast our permanent cast just like these so let's go ahead and take our hammer head throw that down and pour some gold over it and that's going to dry up and that's going to give us our permanent hammer head cast. We'll just put that in our inventory. We'll do the same thing with our tool rod and that's going to give us our permanent tool rod cast so we can use that forever and ever and we'll do the same thing here with our large plate, plate cast and we still have two ingots worth of gold in the smeltery. So we're going to go ahead and put our hammer head pattern down and we're going to switch over to Mirian. Now this should take about eight ingots worth. So we have one block and four ingots. That's 13 ingots minus eight. That should leave us with five ingots and eight nuggets remaining after we pour this uh, hammer head cast and fill it with Mirian, right? So that's pouring and now let's check and see if our math was right. There we go, five ingots, just like we said, 13 minus eight is five. So now we have 
to make two of these large plate casts as well, and those cost eight each as well. So we definitely don't have enough Mirian in there just yet. But we do have enough for a tool rod cast, and while that's pouring, we'll go ahead and check on our cow and see if it happens to be ready. Whoops, happens to be ready to milk again. And does it? It does not. So we're going to have to wait unless we have anything left in here. Nope, see, drum empty. So we don't have enough left, but this guy should be just about ready. It is dark, so let's go ahead and take ourselves a nappy nap. A little nippy nappy nap. All right, and let's see. Whoa, whoa, bouncy bounce. All right, so we've got our tool rod. We can throw that pattern back in there. We're done with that. We're done with the hammerhead one. The only one we still need to use is this large plate cast, right? So let's go ahead and check back on our cow. Is it ready yet? Nope. Nope. Are these guys ready yet? Nope. Uh oh, I hear I hear a spider. I hear a spider. How dare that spider invade my house? You want a piece of me? Oh, oh, a skeleton does. Yeah, burn, baby. Burn. Kill you too. Huh. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, you punks. Trying to get up in my house? I don't think so. Look at that sweet shelter we built. You can't penetrate this. <laughs> Ooh, berries. Nice. Our berry bushes are slowly growing. And our one piece of wheat. Very nice. Uh, I guess while that's growing, we'll go ahead and might as well p plant a few more seeds. So, boom, boom. Mushroom fell off. We'll grab that. All right. Let's head back in the house. Let's see if this guy's ready to milk yet. I think he probably... Whoops, whoops. Probably should be. Yep, there we go. So we got our bucket of Marion. Very nice. And we'll milk these guys and throw their respective fluids in their respective drums just like that very fine and wonderful okay so let's throw our bucket that we just got into our spider all right let me go ahead and just get rid of this a uh, couple other little things that we have here like that get rid of those and let's go ahead and let me throw my arrow in there let's check our loot bag let's see come on big money five saplings really that was pretty epic not <laughs> okay so let's see we've got one block two ingots and seven nuggets so that's going to be nine plus two that's eleven we need sixteen so that's not going to be enough mirian so what we're going to have to do that's 11. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, here we go. We'll take these five nuggets that we already have in our inventory, and we'll just melt those down. That way we can have enough for our our plates, so we can make our hammer out of all Mirian. That's going to be pretty sweet. So this is going to take two. Uh, it's going to take eight ingots per, per large plate. So the hammer is pretty expensive, but I'll... I'll show you what it's good for. It's definitely good for carving out some paths and some some caves in the mines. It's definitely uh definitely good for that. I'm getting a little bit hungry here, so let me go ahead and have myself a steak. Mmm, mm, that's good. Now let's start pouring that guy out. All right, you can see that start to tick down and tick down, and should leave us with no ingots but seven nuggets. And there we go. We can see that progress is going on that, and we should have enough for our sweet hammer. Hammer time, baby! Hammer time! And here we go with our large plate. Boom! Got it. Let's throw that back in our cast there, casting chest. And let's go ahead and build our hammer. So we'll click on the hammer. And we'll go ahead and put our two large plates, our tool rod. Oh, oh, that's a tough tool rod. I totally forgot about that. Crap, man. That ain't no good. 
Well, what I can do, though, while we're here, while we're here, I will go ahead and throw the tool rod that we just made on our hatchet, just like that. So I do need to make a, another piece of something here. I need to make this tough tool rod because I didn't need a regular tool rod. I needed a tough tool rod. Go figure. So we'll put that pattern over there and go to our part builder, tough tool rod, and we'll throw one, two, three pieces of stone, and that's going to give us our stone, uh, stone guy right there. So we'll take that and throw it down on our casting table, switch over to our gold, and pour ourselves a cast. And that should have used the two nuggets we had left of gold, and it did. Okay. And let's see, do we have enough? Let's just make our let's just make our um, thing out of iron. We'll make our tough tool rod out of iron. That should be fine. We don't have any more Marion in there, and I don't feel like smelting some other stuff down. So let's just use what we got, right? Good. Oh look, we got two more pieces of gold from our Mirable Visu. Yeah, nice. We'll take it. Oh wait, there's another one hiding under there. Look at that. Ba bow baby. Yeah. All right. Hey, come back here. You're mine. All right. So now let's make our hammer for real. All right. So let's put our large plates, our tough tool rod, and our hammer head, and boom, baby. Mirian hammer. Look at that durability. 4,227. Nice, and it has a pretty good attack speed. It's actually better in attacking than the sword. Oh, fireworks in the house! Woo! Love it. Love it, love it. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of our sword, and we'll just use this hammer to beat mobs down with, because it attacks better than, than the swords we have, so might as well use it, right? Why not? All right, so let me show you what this sweet hammer does. Oh, look at that. Diamond, baby, right there. Mirable Visu. That's why Mirian stuff is OP, baby. It's fabulous. So let's go ahead down to our sweet mine that we got built, and I'll show you what this hammer does. Close that so no mobs get into our house. We don't want that happening. All right. So I guess let me throw down a few torches here. Boom. And boom. And boom. All right, so there's nothing else really down this cave except for a little bit of um, resources and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and we'll slowly just fill in some of these spots where we took some of these resources from. But I really want to show you what this hammer does. So let's go down to the end of our cave here, right? And if you look, let me go ahead and get this little spot. Oh, we leveled up our pickaxe. Woo -woo! Nice, baby. So if we look, this hammer, look at that. It takes out a three by three. Boom. Yeah, look at that. So sweet. And that's going to help us dig some sweet caves and get down to our um, bedrock level a lot quicker than we would otherwise, right? So that's definitely something that we want, and it's definitely a really cool, cool thing. So I am happy we got that done finally. So we'll just go ahead and we'll leave this, and um, you know, maybe I'll do another mining session the next time that we hang out on Goosercraft. Uh, so. I guess, though, it seems to me like it's getting to be about time, so we're going to have to get going. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and leave me a like, write me a comment, and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that as well, and we will definitely catch you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya!